everyone, this is Leika from Pierce Conservation District. Today we're talking about soil. Have you ever been out on a walk and wondered what goes on underneath your feet? Soil is actually home to many different microorganisms. Let's take a closer look. Now here I've got some soil I just dug up. Scientists have found that in one teaspoon of soil, there can be almost a billion microorganisms living inside of it. So if you've got a pretty big handful like this, there's a possibility that there's more microbes in here than there are people living on Earth right now. Pretty crazy to think about. Scientists have also found many different antibiotics from studying soil. One example being penicillin. So soil is pretty cool. We're gonna take this sample back and do a little experiment with it to see what's living inside. Okay, now here we've got our Berlizi funnel, which is what we'll be using for our experiment today. These funnels are really easy to make. We'll link a DIY in the description. Um, so you guys can make them at home if you want. But we've got this and we've got our soil sample. And so all we've got to do is put the soil sample into this mesh part right here and then we'll put a light on top and all of the critters, everything living inside, will come down into this bottom piece that we filled with water. You can also fill it with rubbing alcohol. Now we just let this sit for a little bit and we'll come back and look at these bugs under a microscope. We waited overnight so we could get the most out of our sample. Now we can take a look at these organisms that we've trapped in our water or in our alcohol, either through a magnifying lens or we have a stereo microscope here that we're going to be using today. So let's take a closer look at what we found. Today we saw just a few of the organisms that live in our soils. There's many more, like mice, moles, slugs, fungi, and protozoa and bacteria that we can't see with our eyes. And all of these organisms contribute to the soil food web, and they're really important for nutrient cycling and for carbon sequestration. I hope you enjoyed this small journey into the world under our feet and that you'll try this experiment at home. Bye!